All right, hello, welcome to some patch notes 11.23 review. Uh, I haven't looked at anything, uh, including PBE, so this is completely new to me. I just know that there's like something about a new dragon, some new items and stuff. Uh, I was, you know, let's just go through it. Boom, baby, preseason 2022 is here and it's big. All right, let's go, let's go. Immediately jump in, look at this graphic. All right, we got a few new items, Crown of the Shattered Queen, Even Shroud, Axiom Arc, Shadow Flame, Winter's Approach, Fimble Winter, they look kind of similar. This is different objective bounties. They're changing tank items, mage items, and lethality items. Some new skins, new runes, and changes. This is exciting. New dragons, a changing rift scott layer. Ooh. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Hmm. Okay. There's more, more arcane stuff. Uh, ultimate spell book. Nice. There's the Avricard creator that you can do. Uh, and Summoner's Rift stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, objective bounties. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's like champion bounties. They grant extra gold rewards for taking objectives when a team is far behind. Designed to be hard to claim, but not impossible. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, so they highlight and you just like kind of focus. This is kind of good for like low elo. You kind of like know where to like run at. You know what I mean? Sometimes people don't, you know, yeah, anyways. Uh, 500 gold, 500 gold, 250, 400, 400. Oh, that's nice. Solid bounty. Uh, these base amounts can be increased up to an additional 60%. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it shows. That's pretty cool. Does this reward split pushing? I mean, this is objectives in general, so... Yeah, interesting, interesting. I like it, I like it. Um, a lot of times when you fall behind, it's really, really hard to, like, just get back into the game so maybe this will help uh, even some of the games the one-sided games out all right jungle changes let's see chemtech drake uh five percent bonus to image per stack against enemies with 340 to 1020 more health than you okay so it's a giant slayer the soul when a team of tech obtains the chemtech you receive a buff that grants them a brief second life oh interesting Uh, sorry, give me a second. Someone is trying to log in to, uh, my, my main email from France. <laughs> uh, get, what? Excuse me? Sir. Sir, what, what, what do you think you're doing? All right. Um, uh, okay, well, th that's just, you know, I'll, I'll deal with that after this. Okay, so there's a buff. Uh, people revive with the soul. Oh my goodness. Oh my, that's a lot, dude. That is a lot. A lot of stuff going on. Decaying movement speed or revive chains is okay, okay. Okay, so it's Scion. It's Scion. Right. Okay, interesting. Chemtech Rift. Grass zones emerge in four jungle locations that camouflage any champion within it. So it's kind of like more bushes. In the zone, deal 10% more damage to enemies who have more health. Okay, so anti tank. Okay. Or anti bruiser tank. Um camouflage. Not shown by wards and stuff. Ooh, that's kinda scary. Alright. Hextech Drake. Controlling the map, flanking your foes, and trapping the enemy team for wombo combo. Use five ability haste and five percent attack speed. Chain lightning snow slow on their next basic attack. Okay. That's just three targets. Oh, this is great for ADCs then. You can just get it like a solid slow. Uh, quickly travel. Wait, this portals? Is <laughs> a 30 second cooldown per champion. Oh, interesting. Cloud Drake, they're changing ultimate ability phase to movement speed and slow resist. Which makes more sense with Cloud, because Cloud is about like speed and air, air speed stuff, and that's kind of what it was before, so interesting. Uh, they are nerfing Rift Scuttler. Good. Uh, I hate my junglers that go for the, the Rift Scuttler, don't get it, and then immediately flame the team in AFK, so. Uh, good. I, I hate Rift Scuttler. Good riddance. 
All right, new item, Crown of the Shattered Queen. Mages have often felt at the mercy of the bursty foes with little else to do but hide on the far side of team fights, or hope their stopwatch is enough to survive. Yeah. This new mythic lets them sacrifice some early damage with a chance to live longer, especially in the early game when a completed Zhonya's may not be a good option. Hmm, okay. Lost chapter, Kindle Gem, Amp Tome. 70 AP, HP, Mana. Your safeguard, reducing incoming damage. Okay, so it's Malzahar. Malzahar passive, but only for damage. And then it lasts a little bit longer. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, safeguarded, and for three seconds after it's broken, gain 10 to 40 AP. Interesting. Yeah, movement speed and AP. Okay. This is nice. Uh, anti burst. It, it's kind of like a spell shield, but for damage. Okay. Interesting. So it works like Malzahar passive. Malzahar passive is like the, the first like little bits of damage he gets hit by is reduced. So this is the same thing. Obviously you can just pop it with like an auto or something. So that's the counterplay. Even Shroud. Tanky supports felt pigeonholed into one mythic. Locket with Iron Solari. Yeah. Aside from, I guess, chem tech? I don't know. Which was a purely defensive tool. We're adding another mythic. But those who want to focus on more engaging offensively instead of relying on Locket's anti-burst. Hmm. Oh, so this is Abyssal. This is a this is just Abyssal. Is it not? Is a tanky Abyssal? After immobilizing champions or being immobilized, cause that target and all nearby enemies to repent. Increasing the damage to take by 12% for 5 seconds. And this is a mythic. Interesting. Okay, this is like an aggro mythic. But it's it, it works like Abyssal, okay. Axiom Arc. Prior to Yumu's Ghost Blade in patch 11.17, there weren't many options for assassins to pick up Ability Haste. A new legendary item designed to be Ability Haste pickup while following the ability focused assassins to snowball a lead. Okay. Whenever an enemy champion dies within 3 seconds of after you've damaged them, refund 25% of your ultimate's total cooldown. Huh. Interesting. Total cooldown. Total cooldown. Told. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about like the potential. Like, so. I, I'm. Th I first thought it would be like Kiana, right? Kiana like gets a nasty ult and just kills everyone, and then just does it again the next team fight. <laughs> huh. Interesting. I like it. It's like a, it's kind of like Shojin. Hopefully not as problematic. 25% though, 25%. You get a kill in lane. You kill, you ult someone in lane and you just get 25% off. Like straight up, like that. Huh, interesting, okay. Shadow Flame, offensive options for mages have been quite narrow, especially for those who wanted legendary items to simply deal more damage. Shadow Flame should let you blow up your opponents and will be extra spicy against those who stop your damages shields on shields on shields. Okay. Oh, so this is the AP anti shield. Instead of me going uh, Serpent's Fang on Singed. Uh. Huh. Okay. This is. Me okay. Okay. Yeah, you just do more damage against people who got shielded. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wonders Approach. Tanks who need mana can really struggle during team fights as they slowly grind through their mana bars. I'm thinking like Maokai. Maokai, maybe Orn? Maybe. Um. Maokai Orn. Who else? Like Big Beefy Lad. Okay, yeah. Um. Let the spell spamming commence. Strike at a target with an ability or auto to consume a charging in three bonus. Oh, it builds out a tier, right? Uh, grants maximum 360 and then it transforms. Oh, okay. Hmm. Gain bonus health equal to 8% mana. So say you have like 2k. And 160. Eh. <laughs> Uh, Slurry of Mosmoising uses 3% of current mana, grants a shield for 3 seconds, absorbing. Okay. It's gonna cool down. Okay, it kind of reminds me of uh, Courage of the Colossus from like 2-3 seasons ago. 
but it's based around mana. So this is from Wild Rift. I think I remember seeing this item before. Interesting, cool. It increases by 80% more than one enemy is nearby, nice. And this is a mythic? This isn't a mythic. This is just a regular tank item that builds out a tier. Oh, interesting. Tank mythics sort of feel like reskins of each other right now, true. The choices aren't very cool or satisfying, just a bunch of different ways to burn people. Yeah. All right, what are they changing the bombies? Now also executes minions that would be killed by one more tick of immolate. Okay, so ticks were two at the last, okay. Frostfire Gauntlet, what are they changing? Instead of basic attacks to create a frost field, basic attacks create a frost field for 1.5 seconds that, that burns. Okay. To all enemies in the area, enemies that move across the field are slowed. Okay. Makes it nicer, like a, a bonus, um, a bonus damage tick onto Iceborne, or not, you know, you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? Turbo Chem Tank, um, moving, dealing damage, fills up the Chem Tank at 100 stacks, your next basic attack is 40 to 120 plus health speed to all nearby enemies. It's like an AoE dead man's. Okay. Um, and then there's a new mythic passive. Where, oh, it's strange. Okay, so this one doesn't burn anymore. This one just boom. It just booms. Empowers each of your legendary items with five a a, a h. I need to get used to that. a h. And health, okay. Sunfire. Sunfire is the most expensive tank mythic, and its stats are a bit underwhelming. We're buffing its durability to match its cost. Uh, more magic resist armor. And empowers more mythic. Better mythic passive. Okay. Abyssal. Last season's Abyssal Mask was powerful to champs who could use its immobilize effect, and pretty much only those champs. We reshaped it to be more hybrid defense, offense defense tool. Oh, they're changing it. Okay, that's why they sh they made the new item. Interesting. Okay, so ability haste, more health. Builds not out of giant's belt, because it now has ability haste. Less magic resist. Curse nearby enemy champions, reducing their magic resist by 5 plus 1% bonus health, max 20. Each cursed enemy gains 7 magic resist. Okay, that's just, you just gain magic resist for being around people and also reducing their magic resist. It's like old abyssal or old whatever that the other item was called. Huh. Force of nature was meant to fill the void adaptive helm left behind, but its value straddles between stacking resistances and movement speed. We've condensed and buffed its effects a bit. Okay. Uh, more magic resist. Uh, instead of stacking movement speed of magic resist, says taking magic damage from enemy champions guards the stack up steadfast. And then steadfast gives you 20% reduce magic damage and 10% increased movement speed. Wait, this is kind of. Wait, and it stacks? It stacks six times? Wait, what? It stacks six times, so you get you get like uh obviously it's not additive, right? What? That's kinda cool. Okay, this might be a new new uh MR item for main MR item for Singed. Knight's Vow, let's see. Knight's Vow was unpopular being powerful despite being powerful all year. Okay, it feels like a mutual partnership rather than selfless sacrifice. Let's see. While your worthy ally, ally is nearby, redirect 10% of the damage they take to you and heal for the eight for 8% 8 they deal to champions. If they have less than 30% health, redirect 20% of the damage to you instead. Okay. Yeah, before it was just... Huh. Okay, yeah. They, they're changing it to the old one. All right, lowering the cost of ages. Lowering the cost of gargoyle. Lowering, keeping the cost of walking the same. Okay, mage items, oh boy. 
Uh, let's see, Everfrost, we want to offer a cheaper tier of Mythics for AP mana users who don't need the luxury damage options right away. Sort of Rise, Rise Galio? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I don't play this game, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I play this game actually. All right, what do they do? They reduce the cost by 400. They increase the AP. And they reduce the mythic passive. Okay. Overall stronger because you can get it earlier into the game and you can just keep being bzz bzz bzz. demonic. Okay. Less AP, more HP. Nice. Better for singed. Dealing AP burns for 2%. Every second for four seconds. No, no longer grants bonus resistances. Okay. And then you gain 2% of your bonus health as ability power. Oh. Okay, this is actually quite nice for Singe. Seems like this season might might not to be, be too bad. I was going to say like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be playing. I don't think I'm going to be playing this season. Uh, I'm probably just not going to be like turbo competitive like this this season. I almost hit 300 games in ranked this season like that's a lot for me so um what do they do to this uh nerfing the mana ap ratio what okay health they're adding health to it and they're nerfing the ap restore health equal to 40 percent of mana spent Oh, it's like old Rod of Ages, kind of. Okay. Cosmic Drive. Oh, yeah. People were talking about this one in the Singe Discord. Uh, strong throughout the this season, but not very exciting. We're amping up the fantasy of this move fast cast fast item. All right. Damaging a champion with three separate attacks or spells grants 20% movement speed and 40 AP. So it's like a mini phase rush that buffs you. Which kind of reminds me of Celerity, the old Celerity, where you would just get adaptive for being fast. And that's how you'd take on Singe sometimes. More AP, more HP, more ability haste, and movement speed. Okay. This is kind of nice. A little phase rush you can, you can just kind of get in, get out. Rise and focus. Oh, all right. Uh, less AP, HP. Ability haste. Yeah, they're adding ability haste to a bunch of stuff because it was less it was kind of hard to get ability haste without like going out 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 of your way. Now applies hyper shot to slowed enemies. Cool. Wait, doesn't this mean it works on my W? On on Singe W. Interesting. Void staff, 100 plus gold, less AP. More pen. Nice. Okay. Doran's Ring. What are they doing? Restore 0.75 mana every second. Damaging an enemy champions increases the amount to 1.25 for 10 seconds. If you can't gain mana, restore 50% of the value's health instead. Wait, this is... Okay, it's like presence of mind in a way. Oh, wow. Huh. I think I might be using Doran's Ring more. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, ner nerfing the AP on Hextech. More HP. Okay, Protobelt is staying the same. Huh. You're just losing a little bit of damage for HP. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Night Harvester, it's changing the build path. Okay, Lethality Items, oh god. Oh my god. Alright, Dustblade. 100 less gold, bonus 80 on next attack, deals a little bit more damage, more damage overall. And they're nerfing it for ranged, is it? Yeah, they're nerfing it for ranged, so like, lethality Caitlyn, lethality Varus, lethality, uh, and I don't know, I've seen lethality Zaya, and that was strange and not very useful. Okay. It's a it's a buff for melees and they're nerfing it for ner for for ranged. Like Jace? I don't know. Um does it say eight? 
Yeah, that's eight. Okay, so they're, they're okay. Eclipse nicer for melee champions. For ranged, it's still the same. Okay, prowlers. The dash deals more damage overall. Okay, then they're nerfing Yumus by hundred gold. Okay, first strike. This is a new rune. Uh, I just know it's you get gold or something. What is this? First strike is a new inspiration keystone that gives you huge damage and gold boost when you strike an enemy champion first, but nothing if they hit you first. Great for artillery champions and assassins during playtests, and we're excited to see you experiment with it. Ooh. Exciting. Basic attacks or abilities against an enemy champion within 0.25 seconds of entering champion combat. That's 5 gold and first strike for 3 seconds, causing you to deal 10% extra damage against champions, granting 100% of bonus damage dealt as gold. Wouldn't this be like great for like Shaco Evelyn? You know, if you don't want like Hob or Electrocute. If the enemy strikes you first, first strike still goes on cooldown without providing any bonuses. Oh, maybe like Twitch. You could abuse this on like someone that goes invisible a lot. Okay. They removed Omni Stone. Oh no, this is terrible. All right. Glacial Augment. Some champions were using Glacial Augment's Freeze Ray to CC enemies before casting skill shots to guarantee a wobble combo, which, though clever, wasn't the intended design. What? Should appeal to tanks and some enchanters without removing skill expression. Okay, instead of basic attack, immobilizing an enemy champion will cause three Glacial Rays to emanate from them towards you and other nearby champions, creating frozen lines for a few seconds that slow enemies for 35 plus 5% per 10% heal and shield power. Plus 2% per 800 AP, plus 2% per 100 bonus AD, and reduce their, reduce their damage by 15% against your allies, not including yourself. The frozen lines last for 3 plus 100% of the final duration of the immobilizing effect seconds. I saw on Twitter that this doesn't work on Singe W, which doesn't make any sense because it's an immobilize. So I think that's a bug. So Glacial Augment, if it works with Singe W by the time, you know, it gets around and fixed or whatever would be pretty good as on like engaging singed right you just toss your w and it goes shoo, shoo, shoo. right because it works on like cassiopeia and stuff so i don't know lethal tempo okay they're changing it yeah halo blaze was just better delayed burst of attack speed and press the delayed burst of damage yeah lethal tempo is just trash i always flame everyone who takes lethal tempo it's so bad why would you want to delay Gain 15% for 5, okay. Attack speed for 6 seconds and striking at least one enemy champion in each auto and it stacks, yeah. It's like a it's like a Gwinsu's against champions. Also increases your range and attack speed cap from 2.5 to 10. Wow. Have fun, Kogma. Alright, ultimate spellbook. They added Akali, Blitzcrank, Caitlyn, Camille, Mundo, Evelyn, Jinx, Kindred, Oriana, Seraphine, Urgot, Vex, Vi, Victor. They removed Malphite. Malphite was just not fun. Uh, nerfing Ash. Jungle mains around the world rejoice. We're introducing a special feature called Auto Smite. So the junglers can pick up a summoner spell other than Smite in this mode. Oh, just for the mode. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, I like completely blanked out. I was like, wait, it auto smites after a certain threshold? I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's only the mode. Uh, new jungle starter item called Obsidian Edge that can only be available in, it's only available in Ultimate Spellbook. Same stats, different criti cri criteria. Yeah, okay, because you can't uh, auto, yeah. Ivern's auto smite works differently. Um, freeing will trigger auto smite, granting the heal and jungle star item stack. That okay, whatever. Okay, anyways, Kaylin, Jason, Jinx updates. Uh, oh yeah, they're changing Caitlyn's passive stuff. New voiceover. Added ejected bullet when reloading her rifle. More of a hextech feel. New mesh and particles. 
indicator on traps yeah they they did uh they showcased a few of these uh i think like a month ago or something um just like general general stuff i know jinx they made like her traps blue and stuff nice um <laughs> uh disabling all chat at some point okay end of season rewards will be completed by december 16th dude i'm gonna get my masters masters master i'm gonna get my master like icon or whatever that's very pog what is this ixtal clash okay loot odds drop late drop rate now called loot odds will be displayed in store yeah so th this is like a, a law thing because you couldn't find the percentages anywhere and that would be counted as like gambling or whatever or like so you, they need to show the percentages for drop rate because otherwise they get sued especially in china that's why um for a lot of games they have to show that like the the percentages or whatever for like I don't know if, if anyone plays like gacha games they're like oh yeah you, you have a 0.01% chance to get this unit um that's because it's like a law thing or it's like a legal issue yeah same same reason why uh fortnite save the world got sued a while back and now instead of just buying llamas which is basically their loot boxes um you buy x-ray llamas which shows you what's in it before you buy it um and like chances and stuff they gave out like like 15 bucks worth of v bucks uh to anyone who had saved the world before that point and i was like oh okay i guess um oh more trackers dude i love the track dude i love looking at the trackers like oh damage caused by this this and this all right guardians horn oh aram Aram min. I've mastered MMR on Aram. It's really, really not fun to play sometimes. Some people are just absolutely like cracked in Aram. It's disgusting. Bug fixes and uh, new skins. Cafe Cuties Gwen. I should have done videos for these, but like I was really busy the last few weeks. So, my apologies. I was just, I don't know, I was like perma tired. Gwen, Soraka, Annie Bard, Sivir. I was gonna do uh, the Bard one, like Bard Top. It didn't work out. And then there's the arcane. Okay, chromas, and that's it. That's the that's the entire patch. Patch 11.23. I'm excited for the new dragons. Uh, I want to see how glacial augment works, and I want to see some of these tank items and AP items on Singed. Uh, I personally haven't tried anything yet, so um, cool. You know, cool. How exciting. But yeah, thank you for watching. Much love. Uh, if you enjoyed listening to me ramble for 20 minutes about patch notes and just talking, uh, I'm reading it for you, so I'm like an audiobook. Um, let me know. Maybe hit that sub button. It's free, and it supports me more than you know. Uh, just a little reminder. Thank you very much for the support. Um, I'm moving to LA in like two weeks, so hopefully I will have free time uh, uh, away from work to make more nice content if not uh you know why uh because i'm busy and tired and stuff uh but i will try my best yeah uh so thank you for watching much love peace out